Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoime, aka Massage Nerd, and today I'm going to talk about gloves. Or finger cuts, some people will use too. So let's say you cut yourself, um, you want to be able to still massage, but you're going to be put, you'll have to put some gloves on and make sure that the rubber gloves that are powder free and latex free. So both of those kind of things. Because um, I know some people are allergic to latex and uh, you don't want the powder also when you're massaging. So that's why it's a good idea to um, uh, look for those kind of things before you open up your practice so you have them accessible. And then with the finger cots, or some people call them finger condoms too, but you know, there's many different sizes. You can just buy a package and then they can fit on to different sizes, different fingers. And that's what you're going to have to use too. So it might feel a little bit awkward for yourself, but for the client after a while, they're really not going to feel it at all. So that's why, um, just make sure you use a little bit more oils for the glide because let's say you're massaging a guy with a hairy back and you don't hardly have any um, lotion or oil on there and you're massaging and it might feel like it's pulling a little bit more too for them. So that's why it's a good idea to have um, more lubrication when you're using that. And with the gloves, um, I noticed too, um, when, I, when I teach massage, I have the students massage with gloves on and usually about halfway through the massage, their hands really start sweating a lot. So it might be a good idea when the client flips over to um, take off those gloves and put on a new pair of gloves then. So um, the reason why some people will wear gloves is, let's say um, the client has open areas or something on their body, that's a big thing. Um, I know um, a chiropractor in the past uh, went, made one of my past students wear gloves with um, clients that have hepatitis. Um, but the thing is, it, there's, just read, read your pathology book and see what's up, up to date, uh, whether to, what kind of precautions to use with those kind of diseases. So, but the main thing is, if there's any open areas on yourself or the client, it um, might be a good idea to wear gloves or um, to, to have some kind of barrier. Because look, look at in the nurse, um, nursing homes or hospitals, nurses always, no matter what, they're, they're wearing gloves all the time, um, just to be safe. But us as massage therapists, we typically don't use it, but it would be a good idea to practice using gloves for a while too. So that's my recommendations. And any kind of comments or situations that you run into, if you had to wear gloves or you wanted to wear gloves or you didn't have gloves, uh, leave in the comments section below. Thank you.